6, it was a glaring oversight that is causing a lot of pain for a Metro East family. A man died in a garage fire, and 10 days later, firefighters found his body. Tonight, our Russell Kintel has been working to get answers for that man's family. Well, the family of Trent Tuttle is frustrated, and they're hurting. If firefighters are unable to rescue someone in a burning building, they thoroughly search after the flames are out for anyone who may have perished in the fire. In this case, firefighters didn't get the job done, and that's adding even more pain to the family's loss. I miss him. It's hard for me to talk about him, but I miss him. The death of Judy Yates' son, 41-year-old Trent Tuttle, has been especially painful. His nieces and nephews called him Uncle Turtle. They all love to see him come because he's a big old kid all the time. Tuttle was last seen January 8th. His family filed a missing persons report on the 13th. Although he was homeless, Tuttle always stayed in touch. And then I started to reach out to a couple of people that I, I knew that he was friends with. It was like, and nobody still had heard from him. It was like, okay, something's wrong. The family passed out flyers and conducted their own searches. Walking in the woods by myself, trying to find him. Tuttle sometimes stayed behind a condemned house on North Illinois Street. It was later learned he died in a fire in a combination garage and shed out back four days before he was reported missing. It's upsetting. But firefighters didn't discover Tuttle's body until the police department's missing persons investigation brought them back 10 days later. It's really hard. I'm so sorry that he laid that long, but we tried to find him. I don't get it. The Belleville Fire Department says firefighters did a primary search of the first floor and searched all of the attic's visible areas on the day of the fire. In a statement, Fire Chief Stephanie Mills said, Mr. Tuttle was found behind false walls in the attic space after an additional search. The Belleville Fire Department wishes to extend our heartfelt condolences to the family of Mr. Tuttle. The family has also learned there were people who had been in the building with Tuttle earlier, but that they never came forward to report his body was likely inside the burn structure. I want to trust that the police are doing their investigation and everything properly, and, you know, we'll, we'll find answers in that, hopefully. There will be a memorial service for Trent Tuttle on Sunday at 2 p.m. at the Moose Lodge in Caseyville. Russell Kinsall, First Alert 4. Russell.